Hello family, my name is Chris, I am your home gamer dad, and welcome back to our next quest within Gloomhaven, a digital adventure on the Nintendo Switch. Last time we did one of the Jaws of the Lion episodes, which was up here, that was part of our completed quest that we did. If I open that up, I want to say with a hole in the wall, yep. And then this time I did talk about wanting to do Enoch's encampment over uh, way on the other side of the map, where what we have to do is this is something that Jack Sarah gave us after we finished the last core story event, which is from the base game, basically asking us to go to this Enox camp and teach them a lesson. Now, as you can see in the upper right, it says Dagger Forest Core Quest. I wanted to do this with Red Guard and our Sunseeker, but it says Core Quest. I don't want to do Core Quest with, uh, with Kurt because I need him, as you can see here with the Watcher Mountains, to do side quests. I need him to complete six side quests from the main game in order to be able to get him to retire. So I still wanted to do the Enox encampment because it is a cool one and I enjoy it. And it seems pretty easy. Kill a number of enemies equal to five times the number of mercenaries. I'm only bringing two, Bamba and Sonya, two very good offensive uh, characters. Plus Sonya can do some healing, which is great. And then I think we should be okay. As far as our characters go, um, I have all of their stuff set here. Uh, cards for Bomba. These are her abilities here. I don't think I have anything else for a second hand. I probably could, but she only has four gold, so she can't make anything anyway. So that's all that for her. And we need to give her perks. She needs to earn perks in order to get the ability to retire. So earning a perk is never a bad idea. Uh, as far as Sonya goes, I just kind of kept her deck basically the same thing from when it was in the last round. I did not give her any new equipment, even though I wish I I should, I should give her a headgear, um, but I, there's no good headgear to give her because I would rather do the Iron Helm, but it's sold out. I can't do that. And actually, uh, here we go. Uh, so I can't even give it to her anyway. I can refresh one of her items, but she only has one item anyway. Uh, the, the goggles are advantage on the entire attack action. She only ever does one attack action at a time. This is something if you're gonna do like two or three in a row if you have a card like that. So, now nah, I think that's fine. Um, I would like to do this. So let's go ahead and donate. She's a Sun Keeper. Donate to the Blessing of Sun Keeper, it makes sense. I did put 10 more into this from our, our Void Warn and Val in order to help move her along to her retirement as well. So, at least I got two blessings within Sonya's deck. So that's really good. So I think with that, we're going to go ahead and just do it right now. Let's head on over to the Dagger Forest. This core quest of the Enox encampment, make an example of the Enox who crossed Jex Seraph. So we have Enox archers, I hate archers, Enox guards, and Enox shaman. No one has any natural shields because you would be listed there, but they do have a lot of health, some good movement, and some high attack. So uh, we'll see what happens. I'd also like to get the chest that's here. So let's travel. Making our way there. And of course, we're going to get ourselves into a road encounter. Walking among some foothills, you enter a narrow valley and find a large pile of stones blocking your way. Clearly a rock slide occurred here recently. You move closer and despair just how large the stone are. Only some of, someone of great strength can clear the path efficiently. Now, we have Bomba, who's a... A demolitionist. She should be able to blow this apart. Uh, but I feel like if I do attempt to clear the stones from the path, we're going to hurt ourselves for this mission. Backtrack and find another way around the stone fight. Uh, logically, Bomba would be able to just blow them up. So I'm going to choose this top one, but I have a feeling it's going to be a negative. Uh, oh, see, I knew it. Uh, the situation is not ideal. You work through your pain, but by the time the path is clear, you never Want to see rocks again. The start of the scenario, this card, two cards each. Man, man. I feel like if I went around, though, it would be equally as bad. I don't know. Whatever. Let's go. So this merchant wants to make an example of some caravan raiders. Yeah, seems reasonable enough. For the right amount of money, almost anything can be made reasonable. You enter the Dagger Forest and begin to track down the encampment using Jaxera's crude map. It is well hidden, but following the signs outlined on the parchment, you find a dense cluster of huts in a small clearing of the forest. All that's left 
is to head in and make that requested example. That's simple as that. I like it. All right. Uh, suffer damage from an attack to save around you long rest. Loot five or more gold piles during the scenario. You know what? It's just going to be the two of them. So I'm going to do this. We're going to go ahead and do that. We're just going to have her go and try to hoard as much as possible. Yeah, I like it. Uh, collect more money token. That's not going to matter. Never use a potion. Really? I can't use my potion to heal? Ugh. Collect more money tokens than any other character. So <laughs> I got two here. I got loot five or more and then loot more money, which is terrible because there's only going to be 10 enemies, or at least I only need to beat 10 enemies. So that's not going to happen. So I guess I got to just not use a potion with her. That seems like the best thing that I can do, right? All right. I guess that's the best we got. Let's go. All right. So first thing we have to do is we have to choose two cards to discard, which is absolutely terrible because <laughs> Bamba already has less cards in her possession anyway. Uh, so that's not going to be fun. Uh, what do I want to do? Let's just, I can see a lot of stuff. There's like obstacles and everything on the field as well. Can I, can I look at the field first? Wrong thing. Back. Nope. That's just that over there. Okay. All right. So I guess I have to get rid of two first. Um, I like robotic enhancement, piston punch. Uh, all right. We'll get rid of implode first. And then I like wind up as like a beginning tactic. Attack one, loot one, one, two punch. All right, we'll get, we'll get rid of that first. So we'll discard those two first. And then for you, I don't know why you powered up or whatever. All right, there we go. Attractive blessing and brilliant prayer. Those can both go away. Now, now we're officially within the first round. If I remember correctly, yeah, here we are. So we have one, two, three, four, five already, and a lot of doors. So behind one of these doors over here is the treasure and i have no idea which one it's behind in all honesty uh hazardous terrain oh wow if you walk on that it's a uh, something and then is this an obstacle that's an obstacle that's an obstacle that's wow we got three obstacles right here so bomba should be pretty pretty good um what i think i may do is i'm gonna actually have you start here because I would love to do the empowering command immediately. One adjacent ally may recover two of their discarded cards. So the two cards that Mama got rid of, she can immediately gain back, which is awesome. Now, obviously I would want her to go first. So, um, I mean, that's also pretty good. The purifying aura, uh, next five melee attacks targeting you gains that, but I need that for the top. I will, I will, I will, I will. We'll do this and this, and I'll, I'll, fast forward through this in later rounds. I just kind of want to look right now. Um, as far as Bomba goes, what's my, what do we got? One, two, three. I would definitely need to move four in order to get to where I got to get to, uh, to do any type of damage. That is a range four and it puts fire in the round. So maybe I'll do that. Um, what is, what are you? You're 21. Okay. So let's do one adjacent mini. Uh, no one's against the wall. I could just move four. All right, here we go. Let's see if this goes. We got a 21 and 22 and the Enoxes do their stuff. Wow, they bless themselves. The Enoch Shaman Elite will bless themselves. That means all the entire monster deck will at least have one bless in it. Um, attack three, range four for the archers. Ew, uh, but they don't move. Uh, move three, attack one for the guards. I mean, the archers are way far back, but you know, it is what it is. Let's go ahead and use this and target Bomba. And then of course we choose one and two and they are back in her hand, which is amazing. And then of course we are going to go ahead and strengthen Bomba as well. And we can't use that. So end Zunkeeper's turn. Demolitionist is going to do an arrange attack of four, and I'm just going to hit one of these guys. So we'll just hit, and eh, we'll just hit the first one. That's fine. Confirm target. Good. Utilize that strength in. Very nice. And move two, and I'm just going to move, I'm, I'm going to move just one over, one adjacent, maybe the adjacent to wall suffers two damage. Yeah, nobody's adjacent to a wall. Yeah, we're just going to move one over. Uh, it's a, it's a, 
terrain, so it's not an effect, or it's not an obstacle, but you know, we'll see what happens. All right, skip the movement. No one's around me, so skip the ability and, and turn. All right, where are we going? These guys get lots of movement and lots of attack. Ooh, nice, I'll take it. And then you're gonna move forward and you're gonna attack you. One damage. Um, well, I have to, on the next two sources of damage, I think I have to do this anyway, so that's fine. We'll, we'll make it sure that she doesn't take much damage in the beginning anyway. There you go, come on, bring it, bring it. Ah, I should have brought, bought the ax. There was an ax that I could have bought with her money that would have given me uh, a ranged ability of her uh, offensive attacks. I'm gonna hit both of these guys, but. Yeah, 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 whatever. All right, here we go. I'm gonna try to do an offensive attack right now with uh, my son, Seeker. Uh, let's see, the archers are moving to, they do one damage with an attack of four and immobilize. That means no one can move. Attack three for the guards. Yeah, I gotta get rid of these guys. Um, and then Shaman will move attack. Wow, these guys do a lot of damage. Um, the, here's the thing, this is gonna be interesting. I'm gonna move two and I'm gonna move Bomba up here. So for a movement, do, 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 do. Uh, I do not have an obstacle uh, adjacent to me, unfortunately, so I have to skip the ability, sadly enough. But I can go ahead and attack this guy. I can utilize the fire in order to build it up a little bit. Confirm target. Whatever, I did two damage, it's fine. And I can push him right into this trap. Select. Uh, okay, cool. Do I want to go any further? You know what? Yeah, let's go all the way. All the way. All the way. Did he take damage? He should have... He should have taken damage from here. Like, how much health does he have? Hang on, let me try that again. Oh, okay. There we go. It's... I guess it's only just one damage while it's on uh, the hazardous terrain. Or maybe if he moves in or out of it, I'm not really too sure, but... He's standing on it, and I'm fine with that. So we're gonna end the demolition's turn. It is now my turn, and I'm just gonna go straight up, attack right here. Why, what am I doing? Come on, where am I? Oh, I'm, I was on the wrong thing, that's why. Here we go, attack five. Yeah, <laughs> right in front of me. This is an attack of five, and as long as I don't miss, no negative. Oh, just, oh it's starting already. It's starting already. Uh, all right, move over here. I'm actually gonna get next to to Bomba. And I think with the two of them next to each other, it'd be a little bit easier, so. I can't believe it. It's already starting. <laughs> They're starting to lose out on all this. Oh, geez. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Reduce the damage by one. And Bomba's immobile, but that's all right. Oh, gee, ow, I can't do anything about this. And here we go again. Oh, I, I don't want to burn cards yet. She knocks, uh, Shaman goes. And it's my turn again. Oh my goodness. All right, here we go. I have a feeling this isn't going to end very well, but hey, all right, everyone goes before us, basically. Yeah, I figured this was going to be one of those turns. Wow, you're moving way up there. And then the archer goes. Bomba's absolutely in range. Oh, beautiful. Straight on miss. I like it. And now it's my turn. I am just going to first. Uh, yep. Attack four. I could kill this one. But Bomba's going to go next. But I don't want. See, Bomba's immobile. So I can't really go anywhere with her. She's right there. And she can really just attack this guy. So I'm gonna focus on this guard and hope, hope, hope that this card dies, that maybe I can get a plus one uh, to it. Um, yeah, here we go. So we're gonna confirm target. Yes, 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 and then you go down. Fantastic, that is great, awesome. Now, at the end of your next five turns, this is a burn card, it's immediately burned. Um, oh, there's a part, oh. It would put uh, light into the field, and light is something I really need for my guy, but I, I'm gonna wait. 
I'm going to wait. We're just going to do a basic move to... I'm going to go... I don't want to open up anything yet. I'm afraid to open up doors. If I open up doors, things could be bad. No, we're just going to go here. And we're going to pick up the gold. <laughs> and uh, that, that's it. Skip the rest of the movement. Done. Uh, now the guards go. And those two go. And they're both going to... You move forward. I didn't even notice that another guard popped in. Oh, that's fun. So move. Yeah, they're both going to attack. You've got to take the one damage. You strengthen yourself. That's bad. Strengthening is awful. You're going to go in. All right. We're going to leave it. We're going to leave it. Fun. All right, Bomba, you can't move anywhere, but you can fight. So, uh, one, two punch. I have to do, as much as I would have loved this on your next two attacks, add plus two to the attack. I have to do the one, two punch first. So, uh, boom, 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 boom. attack two, attack one, uh, add push, blah, 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 blah. See, the thing is, I want to kill this guy first. I totally want to kill him because I could do a two attack and then I could do a one attack on this guy and add push, muddle, and gain. No, I'm not going to take a chance. I need to defeat somebody. So we're going to confirm this. One damage. You're dead. Goodbye. Fantastic. That's okay. And then we'll aim at you. Confirm target. Whatever, you did one damage, that's fine, hooray, and all that in between. I can't move, nor can I really double the next movement value of anything. However, I could recover one of my used cards for this turn. But no, I'm not going to do that yet, because once I finish this round, I'll have... Um, right? Will I have an uneven amount of cards? I don't know, it doesn't matter. I can't double the next value of your movement. I can't move, sure, all right, that's fine. Just I won't burn the card, so that's fine. Just use it. Whatever I move next, I move a lot. All right. Do I want to use the card in order to bring myself back in something? Um, you know what? Yeah, let's go ahead and use that. Confirm target. And... Yeah, because I only have four then here. So bringing one back will give me actually another turn. Take knockout support back. Maybe I can do something with that or whatever. Uh, but that's it. And unfortunately, Demolitionist might die. <laughs> might go down unless I do something quick. I'm no longer, uh, what is it, uh, immobile, so that's good. Uh, let's see here. All right, come on. Come on, let my guys go first. Let my guys go. Uh, an archer goes first. Oh, no, you're going to target Bomba, aren't you? Minus one. What's the damage? Zero damage. Beautiful. Love it. Fantastic. Great. And you're putting down a thingy. That's fine. I need to, <laughs> what do I need to do? Um, okay, so we're gonna attack three because I wanna put uh, Earth into the room. So confirm this target. Ooh, nice. Oh, that's a good shot. Love it. So now all heals, targeting the targeted that has no effect, that's fine. Uh, honestly, I'm just gonna move two and we're gonna move one right here to pick up her first of four. Yes, it's next to the Enox, but that's okay. Uh, skip movement, end turn. Beautiful. So now she has one of five, great. And there's Earth in the room, so hopefully she'll be able to do something with it. You're healing, you're healing, you're healing, you're healing. Oh man. Oh no, you didn't, wow, you didn't, I thought you were gonna heal that guy. All right. Hmm. I oh, know, I need, but I need to heal. I need to heal my buddy right here. So confirm. Because she needs it. And I do get to move four. Do I want to move four and start opening up some doors? Or do I want to continue knocking out characters? I'm going to move up over here. Spread my guys out a little bit, but also give them another target is the, uh, the idea here. So the guards go. It's fine. A movement of two. You didn't do anything. And then this guy goes. Ow! Oh, jeez. Oh, all right, whatever. I healed him three, but then he went down three. That's fine. Uh, but now I can actually do some good stuff here. 
I'm gonna do that. Oh, oh, I need to do explosive. So we'll do just this and this. So that's good. That's all you can do. Ah, oh, I need to get another thing. Should I just short rest? Yeah, let's just short rest. Short rest. Are you sure? Yup. Uh, one adjacent. Uh, oh, that's such a good card for Bomba, but I don't want to hurt myself. Uh, one adjacent ally may perform. I have to redraw. I have to hurt myself and redraw because it's too good of a card. Fine. Fine. That's fine. Do the, do that. And now. All right, so my guys go first, that's fine. I am gonna go ahead and, as much as I wanna do this retaliate too, I'm gonna do a uh, hammer blow because I'm gonna use the light that's in the room. Um, strengthen all adjacent allies, or I can just move. I may just move. I want this guy gone. So this guy definitely should go, and I'm gonna use the light, not only to make sure that I hit him and beat him, uh, but I'll gain the, the, uh, the experience point. Oh, of course I get a massive attack on that. Really? Really? Ugh, man. All right, well, whatever. I'm gonna just move. I'm gonna move right here, actually. And that's gonna be the end of your turn. You, I can move three, destroy one adjacent obstacle, creating two obstacles, or actually, no, I'm gonna move two to here. Well, no, 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 here. As much as I wanna do something else, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna destroy this obstacle. I know this burns the card completely, but. But then that's gone. You're both stunned and you took some damage. So yeah, that, that worked for me. I like that. Ah, good. I'll take the one damage. That's okay. And then the archer is stunned, and the shaman is stunned as well. Fantastic. All right. Um, the demolitionist either has to short rest or something else. I can't believe I already have a burned card, but it is what it is. So we're just gonna do a short rest. Um, fine, because now I'm getting into the 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 thick of it all and going to knock them around. Destroy one adjacent obstacle if you do. All right, well, I do have an adjacent obstacle to me, so that's really good, so I probably should do that. And then, no targets are against the wall, it stinks, but I could stun the shaman again. I think I may do that. So let's do this and that, just because I'm right here and I can see it. Uh, you need to move and you need to attack. Demolition is gonna go for, wow, the shaman go, oh man. <laughs> Ah, uh, you were the one I wanted to hit to make sure that you don't do anything. Oh, I am dead otherwise. Um, I need to burn an available card in order not to completely go dead. Um, my wind up. Yeah, burn it. Otherwise that, I'd be very dead. Very, very dead. And the guards go next. Wow, they all... Ugh. Oh, that was bad. And I can't even move because I am immobile. Um, oh, oh, you, you screwed up my plan so much. I'm immobile, so I can't do anything. So I have to skip the movement, but I will destroy this to very least uh, empower myself. So there we go. Not that it matters because I have, I, I can't hit anything. Ah, oh, man. I, I hate, I hate being a mobile. That is the worst. Uh, but what I can do here though, is I can move. Um, I'm gonna move up here just to kinda maybe get on the other side of a trap or something like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just attack for this archer. There we are. Good, there goes another one. Four down, six to go. What is gonna respawn? Something, see, something responds. Another guard responds every time. I also feel like every time um, it does, does it respawn at the beginning of every one. I don't know if there's any enemies within those doors. Trying to be a little uh, easy going here with my guys. All right, what do we got? All right, let's see how this works. Of course, of course they're going before me. Are you gonna move? Are you gonna stay where you are? Nope, I just take no damage. I am dead otherwise, so I have to burn another available card. 
Oh man, all right, implode. I like one-two punch, it's fun. And you're doing that. I only take one damage, but I think we're cursed. Shield, retaliate two. So now if I hit either one of these guys, they do two damage back at me, which is fine because I actually do not plan on hitting either of them this turn. I actually plan on going up against that shaman. So here's what's going to happen. Uh, Demolition's turn. First, uh, ba, 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 ba. no, that's what I want to do. So what I want to do is move two, and I'm actually going to move right here. Get next to my Sunseeker, and then we're going to crushing weight right here. You're against the wall, so, <clears throat> yeah, gain an experience, gain a few extra points of damage. Awesome, beautiful. Now, Sunseeker is going to go, and... See, I could do either one of these. An adjacent can recover or adjacent can perform an attack four. I should do the attack four um, because at that point, I'll be able to kill the shaman. Right? Yes. Yeah. And there's nothing else I could do. Um, one adjacent may recover. Ugh, that'll burn the card. Uh, you know what? All right. Let's, let's. One adjacent may perform an attack four. That's you. Confirm. And of course, we're going to target you. And as long as you don't miss completely, which of course my luck, which of course my luck happens. <laughs> All right, one adjacent can recover one card. I mean, this card is gone. It's completely burned at this point, but I can grab one of these from uh, Explosive Blitz. Um, yeah, we'll take Explosive Blitz. Because maybe I can back up a little bit with. Uh, with, uh, what is it, Bomba, and then do some damage that way. Um, otherwise, that that's the end of the Sunseeker's turn. Round eight. So I got to do both of these anyway, so that's fine. And as for you, um, attack five and movement. Yeah, it's really, really what it is. So we'll do this, and then maybe I can kill or at least do a lot of damage to one of the other guys. Uh, yeah, we'll just do that. And of course, Shaman goes first, doing a disarm. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Moving away, doing the damage, burning a card. Um, I can't burn an available card because I don't have an available card. I can burn two discarded cards, which is equally as bad. One. Ah, to burn. Um, this is this is bad. All right, sorry about that. I had actually just lost power, so everything I was thinking about doing, I could not really do very much of. Anyway, um, the problem now is that my demolitionist is disarmed, and I really, really do not like that shaman. And I would love that shaman gone, but really nothing else I could do. I can't move. I can't attack at range like I wanted to. I, I, I could, I'll just move. I'll move here to give another gold spot um, for my demolitionist, even though she's probably gonna take a hit, but I can't attack because I am disarmed. So ending that turn. What are you, what's, what's, what is this spot here? A damage three, that's fun. Um, I could move four. Moving four could put me two, three, four, no, one. I want to kill you. I need to kill you. I really need to kill you. Demolitious is probably in some trouble, but that's okay. I mean, it, you're already gone, so. Um, yeah, yeah, confirm the movement. Uh, skip the rest of the movement. Attack five. I just need you gone. I really do. There we are. Get out of here. No more. You're done. Uh, speaking of being done. Oh, you backed up. Oh, because you have a range two attack. Eh? Oh, and you're going to do three damage and kill this guy. And I need to burn two more cards in here. You're, you're, uh, this is it. Like, my demolitionist is probably just going to be gone, like gone very fast. Uh, one, two punch, explosive blitz, I, and that's what's discarded. I don't have anything in my hand. 
I can't do anything else. It, it, I, I can't even long rest. Like, if I long rest, then I lose a card that way too. And if I lose, lose, you're done. You're done. I just, you know what? Just, just take the damage. Goodbye. Sorry, demolitionist. You got some money. You got some money out of you, but whatever. They shield up and can do an attack two of poison. Not that it matters. I'm not within their range. I'm just gonna end here. Pick up some gold. This, this one is pretty much done. I'm not going to even bother uh, attempting this at all because uh, long rest. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Fine, do your thing again, I don't care. Because I know this isn't going to end well, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put up this purifying aura and anybody that tries to melee attack me will actually hit retaliation damage because why not, that sounds fun. And then I'm gonna go ahead and move four and let's just start opening up doors. I'm kind of curious about this. So confirm movement. Hello. Uh, anything good here? Nope. Okay, so let's go back where I was. Yep. And uh, in turn, I'm literally just going to open doors until I find where that treasure is. Once I figure out where that treasure uh, uh, chest is, I may pick it up. I might have the ability to pick it up. Uh, but then I will just kind of <laughs> run away or do something. All right, just for the heck of it, let's put up a shield for this turn and, you know, give her some extra experience, because why not? That sounds fun. I have a lot of shields as well, because I did the rest and whatnot. Uh, let's move five and see what's behind door number two. Confirm the movement. And push. Uh, two more guards, two piles of money. Eh, not bad. Um, if I do this, can I get here? No, because they're all blocking it. Um, but I could move myself out over this way, and then one, two, three. Ah, get very, very close to where I want to go next time. Uh, or if I don't move it. All right, let's use let's use my boot to striding. We'll move here, and we will uh, and turn. All they've been literally doing is just powering themselves up and like going, that's it. So I'm gonna go here from this movement. And then on my next turn, I will uh, open up that door. And you know what? I'm gonna heal myself anyway, because now they're all gonna converge on me and start hitting. But hey, I'll hit them back with my retaliate. So this should be fun. All right, what do we got right here? Let's just move to here, open the door. Uh, and again, just another, what are you? You are a shaman. You're another shaman. All right, so that's a bad door. I don't like that door. Uh, let's go. I have a feeling that there's something really good behind that door, but I just kind of want to run away at the moment. So, bye. And uh, shield myself again. Again, one more experience just for the heck of it. And then at the very least, I want to open up that door before we uh, end this <laughs> this disaster of a quest. All right, here we go. Let's open up this door and see that's all that's here is a single obstacle and money. So the chest that's within this uh, level is definitely behind this door right here. So I will remember that for future uh, times when I come back in order to get this. Um, and I don't have an adjacent ally to do anything, so just skip the attack and continue to not use my potion, because I think I still will get the perk if I, uh, what is it, if I don't do anything. Um, I could have tried to get myself up there. We could short rest and hope to not lose the move five, which of course I did, so we'll do that. That's fine, we can burn that one. So let's go ahead and do that, shall we? We'll shield up, move, here we go. I'm feeling this might be the last round. Uh, <laughs> It, it's it's very possible at this point. Um, oh no, it is my turn. So let's uh, let's heal myself for three, just to kind of get myself a little bit up, uh, you know, back to full. I'll move four right at the door. Oh, I can't quite make it to the door. Oh, that stinks! But I'm gonna hurt myself going through here. Yeah, I know, I know. Receive the damage. Ouch. Whatever. 
And then on my next turn, at least I'll be able to get into that door pending I don't die. So here we go. Oh good, I get the first turn. That's fun. Um, I'm just gonna move five. We're gonna move five. We're gonna go right into the room and take a look at it. Open the door. You push your way into the back cave, only to be faced with a half dozen crying, screaming Inox children. You have little opportunity to contemplate the implications of this development, however, as you find yourself also staring down the bows of several Inox archers. Your only option is to continue fighting. Ah, there it is. The chest is all the way over here. Uh, I can make it right next to the chest for sure. What is this? That is a three damage thing. You are an elite archer. Um, let's see if I can get it. Let's just see if I can get the chest. I'm going to hurt myself so badly now. I wish I had my extra movement, but uh, here we go. Let's just confirm the movement. Ouch. Yeah, I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good to go. Uh, I will shield myself up for the round and see where this takes me. This is literally my last turn right here because all I have are these two cards. Um, <laughs> I don't die uh, from... Well, the shaman didn't move. Oh, that's cool. I like it. All right. Um, do I want to target... No, no one's going to be uh, Jason to me. No, I don't care. Um... Uh, let's just, I could do it, just gain one more experience. But then again, the shield will give me experience as well. Yeah, we're going to use this. We're going to use the move two. We're going to move right onto the chest and pick it up. Treasure chest. Fantastic. And then I'm going to skip the rest of my movement. I'm gonna do this. Confirm uh, another shield, apparently, for me. End my turn, pick up the chest, and inside we found Sonya loots the horned helm. Ooh, what is that? Oh, I'm gonna have to check that out after the end of this. She gets a fun item, that's great. Uh, but now uh, I'll just meet you to when my demise actually happens. And I go dead. <laughs> Goodbye. There was no way I was going to do it anyway. I had zero cards left in my hand, but hurrah! <laughs> we have a defeated condition. Uh, hoarder, and I guess because I didn't actually... Yeah, scenario failed, so it didn't really matter. I could have used the potion, but it, it wouldn't have mattered anyway. So that's that was a thing. Returning to the map. All right, we got a few fun things here. First thing I do want to do, I want to do the city encounter before anything else. So I put all my team members back in in case gold or experience are earned, so then everybody gets it. So our city encounter is, as the daylight fades, you find yourself wandering through half-crowded market street, browser squares. Hey, over here, you turn direction to voice and see filthy vermling, uh, vermlings. Um, then again, I do like the mind, uh, what is it? The mind, uh, uh, the one vermling that you can play as this. Anyway, uh, you look grim. Perhaps I have something you might be interested in. Vermin holds out a piece of metal covered in sludge. Found this in the sewer, writing on it. I don't understand, but I know it's valuable. You can have it for 10 gold. You know what? Sure, whatever. Collectively, we can you lose 10 gold. Uh, take the piece of garbage. Amidst troubling brownie smears, you see a lot of meaningless scratches like made. Uh, uh, oh, well. Uh, sometimes a long shot doesn't pay off. Um, sure, that's fine. Take it. I don't really care. That's fine. Uh, but what we also did get, which was really cool, was a Horned Helm. After moving four or more hexes in one turn, add plus one attack to your next melee attack? No way! That's perfect for her! Oh, that's great! Um, so I can go to her. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Yes, she has the boots of striding. I know that, I know. Um, oh no, it's just it's just in the store now so I can buy it, and I'm going to, and I'm going to buy it, and she's going to equip it, and that's gonna be awesome. Awesome, that's great, cool. Found a new uh, piece of equipment that everybody can use uh, if they need to. But there you have it, everybody. That was the Enox encampment. Of course, I'll be doing that off camera in order to be able to complete it. I may take my three instead of Kurt going in. I'm not too sure, because remember, every uh, mercenary that comes with me is five more Enox I have to defeat, so. 
we'll see how it goes from there. But let me know what you thought of this down in the comment section below. What do you think of the team that we have building? Are there any particular classes that you enjoy playing as in Gloomhaven? And of course, recommend them for me because as I go through them one by one, I'm gonna, again, just constantly try to build up their, um, what is it, their retirements to the right, as you can see over there. Val is 20 out of 120. I gotta keep, I gotta put more money into uh, that in order to keep building that up. And then uh, just, just get them a little bit closer to retiring and seeing what other fun mercenaries we can add to our group. Next time we will be continuing with Jaws of the Lion. So we will be doing the black ship, uh, but that'll be once I finish uh, doing Enoch's encampment. I may even do another side mission just because, I don't know, we'll figure it out. All right, let me know what you guys wanna see and what you think of this and all that other good stuff. So that means in order not to miss any future Gloomhaven mercenary questing action, yeah, all that good stuff, or any other fun video I happen to enjoy, be sure you are subscribed to The Home Gamer Dad. If you wish to support the channel even further, there are ways to do that down in the description section as well. But as always, your view, your like, your share, your comment are all the things I need and more in order to help grow this channel and get you more Gloomhaven uh, sooner than later. Guys, you've been absolutely amazing. Thank you once again. Take care of yourselves and each other. We are family forever gaming together. Those Enochs may be a little bit crazy, but they all are part of our family as well because I know I will have another Enox in my group at some point. You guys have a good one and I will catch you in the next one. Later.